In this video, we will learn how to change default WordPress logo with your own branded logo on WordPress dashboard area. So hey guys, my name is Raman and welcome to Webby Digital channel and in this video, we will learn how to brand your WordPress area or I will say WordPress dashboard area. We are like here with a login page and you, you can easily in the following minutes, you will learn how to change the logo of here and if I log into there. And you can also change your logo of here and with two or three easy methods so i won't be using any plugin in this video because it can be done without any plugin and i hate using more and more plugin for such scenarios but if you want to change the whole branding or a look and feel of your wordpress dashboard then you can use any plugin out there but we will cover that in upcoming videos so here we are what we are going to learn is how to change default wordpress logo to your own brand logo so to do that let's see where these images are so first method is to just replace with the images you have okay and to find the url of such images like obviously if there is a image out there like you can see a image here it must be linked with some file right and to edit that file you can easily replace that particular image with your own so let's just see where does the login images are let me just log out and here it is and to see where that particular image has been hosted on your server just right click on it click on inspect element and now select this letter and just mouse over this so if you move on here it says the h1 tag in hat has a login url and it also has a dyd login and if we see the login and a child element of h1 here is the background url which is a wordpress logo and if we open that logo as you can see the here it is a logo let me just open that so there you go so just see the folder sections here which folder it is in it is in wp admin images and there you go let's just open that particular folder just go to your file file manager and here it is webby.co wp admin images and what was the file name file name was wordpress logo okay so let's search for the wordpress logo here i think that is the file here if we just mouse over to it or just go to the here wordpress wordpress where is a wordpress and there you go there is a png file which says the wordpress a whole wordpress here and but we are looking for the svg file here and there is a file which is being hosted there so in this method we are going to replace this particular image with the same url and the same file type okay and let me go to my logo and here's the logo as i open image in a new tab here it is the logo orange i will save this as file name like here let me just rename it obviously yeah let me rename it and copy that file name click save image as just like that let me save that to something which is more reachable to the documents and click on save and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload that here click on upload there it has uploaded open this particular file just reload that and here it, there you go so that particular image it has been replaced by my logo and let's just reload it so as you can see this has been changed and now to change the width and height of it you can easily do that as you can see it look distant from the box itself so you can easily add it the css file here as you can see the css file of this particular section is let me just browse yeah there you go so here is the css file and to give you a demonstration you can easily increase the background size or you can easily increase the height and width of this particular image so that's the one method and you can easily replace other files like here like this you can easily replace with that your own logo and this which is the wordpress logo white you can also easily change that so it will give you an edge or you know if you don't know the coding part you can easily replace such images and the result will be reflected on your login pages but obviously it just look distant right here and you need some css knowledge to actually replace that so i won't touch this particular code here why because it has a child element of h1 so 
if I change the CSS file or CSS property of this particular image, then it will also change or reflect changes on entire box. As you can see, the div ID is of login and it also include other child element. As you can see, it also include the names. It also include the password section and until this particular lost your forget password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this code with the image. Okay. And how to do that? Just go to the root folder wb.co and wp login here and just search for the local login, which is the div ID login, right? Yeah, here it is. So it has a H1. So this particular code we are going to replace and we are going to replace it with the image. So with the image tag, the source source will be the same. So let me just do that. So let me just copy this and click save and see. So as you can see, it does look bigger, but obviously it's not that bigger that look natural to us. So you can just increase or add width and height to it just add the width to it like 300 px or i would say use the percentages if you are not familiar with the responsiveness height to it like uh, 30 percent or something so what it does is as you as we can see the login id is the bigger id or i guess it's container id and there we have a child elements so what it does is the width of the login id it will stretch that logo to the width of this particular element so the 100 percent will be the 100 percent of the login width right there okay and if we see the result there you go it does look natural so that's how you can change the logo of this particular website and to change this uh colors to your own branding which we will discover in the separate video where we will white label each and every element of the dashboard using a plugin and also we can do the minus changes if you are not a tech savvy or i would say the code savvy then you can easily do that with the help of plugin and if you are comfortable editing a code we will discuss how to edit these default brand colors to your own so if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to learn much more about wordpress and its customization its uh, digital mark its seo perspective its customization or uh, technical tutorial then you should subscribe to this channel and if you want to share this to your colleague or friend use the share button and if you have a feedback in your mind for me then you should use the comment box so see you in the next video until then bye bye